through the sound barrier. Stand by to level up. I'm at 150,000 feet, on course. Well, how are you doing, Virgil? Okay, Scott. I'm soon gonna catch you up, don't worry. And Alan, I want a position check. Okay, Scott. Give me your present fix. We are at LS749 stroke AP 428. No, Scott, you, your reading is wrong. You are 20 miles northwest of that point. 20 miles? Gee, there's some miscalculation. Yeah, those controls are sure way out beat. All right, Alan, thanks. Hey, you better tell Virgil. Yeah, we will do. We ought to be getting the first reports from Firefly soon. Ah. That must be them now. Go ahead, Fireflash. We found a fault in the automatic locator, London. Fireflash was giving a wrong position. Faulty locator? Well, that could explain a lot. Furthermore, we're having trouble with a trim. It looks as if the elevator power unit... Fireflash. Come in, Fireflash. They've gone dead, sir. It's the same pattern. The same pattern. First the EPU, then the radio goes. London from Fireflash. London from Fireflash. Come in, London. It's no use. The radio's dead. We've lost contact with them. Oh, no, we haven't. Not all together. Alan, Virgil, do you read me? Sure do, Scott. Loud and clear. The fire flash radio circuit is non-functional. Now, we're going to have to relay messages to London via Alan in the space station. The gather is pretty desperate. Is that right? Yeah. The EPU is negative. How about the standby? Well, that's gone, too. It looks as if Fireflash is taking one colossal crash dive into the Atlantic Ocean. I just can't get the nose up. Scott, I've been through to London and explained about the EPU and radio failures. They say you should bail out and let them pick you up. Bail out? If we do that, we'll never know what the fault in Fireflash was. And so we'll be back to square one. Okay, Scott. It looks like we're gonna have to try that little scheme we discussed earlier. How long have we got till the Fireflash hits the water? Well, judging by the present rate of descent, I'd say we've got about 15 minutes. Did you get that? We've got 15 minutes. Right. Be seeing you. I hope. You should be situated somewhere near the pyrometer cylinders. Yeah, I think I can see them. I'm gonna try and get a little closer. Well, what's the height now? 40,000 feet. We've got less than four minutes. Why 
lives have been interfered with. The leads into the EPU have been cut. They've been cut? Hey, what the blazes was that? It sounded like a shot. It couldn't be. All right, International Rescue. I'm ready for you. Come on out. Look, I don't know what your game is, but there's some pretty vital pieces of equipment around here that we don't want to smash if we can help it. Who are you kidding? This aircraft is finished, and you know it. In just a couple of minutes more, it's going to make a mighty big splash in the ocean and then disappear like all the others. I shouldn't jump if I were you. Your parachute would never open in time. Oh, uh, yeah. Gordon, what's going on? Answer, please. Come in, Gordon. Look, Scott, there's no time to explain. We've had an uninvited guest lossing up the works in here. But I guess he won't give any more trouble. Gordon, we've got 30 seconds left before we hit the water. That's too late to bail out. Can you fix the EPU? No, Scott. I couldn't remake the join in time. It would take too long. Ten seconds, Tracy. 